it's interesting to note, and this is part of what makes Islam sort of the last bastion of hope, I think, for the world entirely, and, and even a source of possible redemption for the Western world, that the Ummah is very, very different and differently temperamented than the uh, the Muslim governments or the governments in the in the Muslim world. So mm. there was really, you know, if we look across the Muslim world at the average, you know, masjid going Muslim, people want Sharia, right? Even as you said, the author himself, uh, perhaps a Christian, a Palestinian Christian, uh, wants Sharia, right? He he prefers it or would prefer it, even if he's got, even if he were to assert that it doesn't exist at any single place in time right now um, in its truly organic and indigenous form, um, he would prefer it over the sorts of types of governance that we have now. Um, and so this is something that perhaps the majority of Muslims feel across the world, which is, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously there, there was a specific sort of thing that happened uh, in 2015 when uh, the, the quote unquote Islamic State uh, Daesh, you know, arose, and obviously Daesh is it was horrible and had all sorts of problems and excesses, and uh, was completely un-Islamic for for ways in which we'll actually talk about. And it's revealing that they were called an Islamic state. And here Halak is saying that's an impossibility, right, to be mm -hmm. an Islamic state. Mm -hmm. It turned it in the state basically turned it into a monster. Um, but if you notice, you know, we have to account for and explain the phenomenon why there were so many Muslims who wanted to go there. You know, are every single Muslim in the in the world that tried to go or thought it would would be, um, you know, a, a positive thing to go and try to live under that that sort of rogue regime? Um, were they all just bloodthirsty animals? I can't believe that. I think that people, many people, had a decent intention and were misled and and duped um, by sort of what they sort of thought that it would be. And then there's lots of stories and exposés about people going there and then finding that it was the opposite of what they thought it was. Um, but the main point that's per that's pertinent to our discussion is that people have this desire. Muslims yeah. still have this desire to to live according to the Sharia and be according uh, to live in a society that is organized and operated under the guidance of the Sharia. Yeah. 